What up, guys? It's Ashley. Um, I'm about to go on my third quarantine date. Haven't had the best luck so far, but um, you know what they say. Three is a magic number, so... <laughs> and this guy, uh, he owns his own business, I think, which seems really awesome, and um, I think it's going to be great. Hello? Hi! Hi, Brennan. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you doing? <laughs> nice to meet you too. Good, good. All That's good. good. Yeah. I, I want to apologize for being late. I was outside. I I totally lost track of time. Kind of caught up in something. So. No worries. Is that yeah. what? Is that why? Is that a glove? Oh, my glove. Yeah. I was outside. Like I said, I didn't want to get my hands dirty. It's kind of like lifting a lot of stuff. You know, I'll take it off. Oh, nice. Are you doing like um like yard work or landscaping stuff? Um, no, I was, uh, working on, there's a project, mm -hmm. which is kind of like, I don't know if you saw my profile, but, uh, I'm have a startup that I'm working oh, on. Oh, right. You have a startup. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So I was out working with that. It's like an outdoors thing. Uh -huh. Um, yeah. Brennan's ropes and trees. It's called. Brennan's ropes and trees. It's catchy, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's pretty cool. But, um, <laughs> what, yeah. um, is it? um okay i'll do my best to explain it yeah um, give me that elevator pitch okay <laughs> so you know trees and ropes they're separate but i think they can go together in an outdoors environment where you can take um the ropes and tie them to the trees and kind of make like a jungle gym in the sky for people to walk across Oh, like um, uh, what's like a ropes course? What's that? Like a ropes course, like what you're describing, like you know, where people um out in the woods and stuff, there'll be like ropes tied to trees, and you can like zip line across or um, sort of like monkey bars, but um, in the woods. Well, you've been to one. You've been to. You know about these are a thing. This is not original. Oh, um, like in summer camp and stuff there. There's there's some upstate that I've been to, but I don't think that's a big deal. You know, I think there more than there are more than one. So. There are more than yeah. There's more than one bank in the world. Yeah, yeah. It's just I, me and my boys are working on it. Hopefully, it'll open soon. That's honestly that's really cool and promotes exercise and being outside and like. Right. Ugh. Fresh air. I mean, enough about me and my uh, rope and trees course. What are you do? What do you do? You you work with kids or something? It's yeah, yeah. I'm a dance teacher. Oh, that's really neat. Yeah. Wow. Like uh, in studios and stuff. Yeah. Well, these days, normally yes, but right now I'm doing like like this, but teaching oh, the kids yeah, yeah. on here. Yeah. Oh, that's so neat. Mm -hmm. Wow. Kids are kids are really great. I think they're really really great. Kids are great. Is that, do you want your, um, your, uh, ropes course to be like for kids or for adults? Uh, my ropes and trees course could be for all ages, kids, adults. Um, you want to spread the word, I guess kids can dance and they can get strapped up in a harness and lift it up till they're at the height of a tree branch and climb across a bridge made of wood and rope. Sort of combine those, those two. Yeah, I think, I think that's hey, hey, really that's, neat. Hey, that's a new idea. I have never heard of a ropes and trees and dancing course before. Okay, can you just say that again, but not as fast? You said uh, ropes and what? Ropes and uh -huh. trees uh -huh. and dancing. Man, you are good. Thank you. All right, <laughs> project saved. <laughs> oh, thank God. This might open a little later now. Thank you for the idea. I love people who have such good ideas. Thank you. Um, no. I do what I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, what do you do in your spare time when you're not teaching kids? You know, I'm a big um, TV movie gal. Love That's a good funny. binge. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much describing me in, you know, eight or nine words. <laughs> you love, you love TV? I, and, I like and, it a lot. And movies, uh, what are you watching these days? Well, I'm always watching on repeat, 
um, Twin Peaks. Have you seen that? I love Twin Peaks. Yeah, look at I got a shirt that is about it. It says Fire Walk Fire with Walk me. with me. Yeah. Hey. It's one of my favorites. Wow. So, so many, like, good shots of trees. Man. It is a very um, woods-heavy show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, kind of that. Is that where the idea? You caught me. <laughs> uh, oh. uh, yeah. I got it from the show. I was watching it, and they had the trees in some shots. And a lot one of, of my boys was watching it with me, and he pointed that out. And then I said, look at that dead girl's tied up with all this rope. Why not combine the two? Uh, not the dead girl, but the rope and the trees. But, you know, apparently a lot of other people out there have watched the show and had the same idea. Oh, I'm pretty sure ropes courses were around long before Twin Peaks. Well, like in 89 or 88, they started. Yes. Um, do you like music? Do I like music? Yeah, I like listening to it. I see you have an earbud in. I do sometimes listen to music through this earbud. Um, I, I, I love, I love music. Do you like music? Oh my god, that's such a good question. Um, yeah, I like music a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I mostly listen to. It's called Chill Amp. Um, it's chill amp. Yeah, it's music that I guess I kind of wrote. Uh, <gasps> oh, okay, bury the lead. I didn't want to reveal everything on the first date. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's music I wrote. It's called Chill Amp, and it's a mixture between like chill music and music to amp you up. Amp, ah. Yeah, it would mostly play at my rope and tree course to kind of get people in the right headspace to go between a bridge of ropes between two trees. Could, could you maybe play me something? Um, yeah, I can do that. Hold on one second. Cool. I'll queue it up for you. Uh, this one's called Swinging in the Limbs. Okay, are you ready? Born ready. Okay, pretend you're at a rope and tree course. You see, it's kind of chill at this point, but then give it a little bit. What I tell you, that's me singing too. Is it? I mean, it may sound stupid to some people, but that's always been my dream, I guess, to like strap someone, preferably under 250 pounds, into a harness, like pulling them up to the top of a tree. Have them safely walk from one tree to another over some variety of bridges made of ropes. But I don't know. It's silly. Hey, Brennan, I think that dream is still attainable. Thanks. I do too. Just going to have to scrap together a little bit more money. But, you know, in time, we'll be all right, you know. Yeah. Oh, do you have uh, Venmo? A lot of people do. The app? The app, yeah, for sending people money who need money. Uh, I don't have it. Oh, yeah, I don't either. That stinks. We'll have to get that. 